wrote that backwards so you guys could read it. That's how cool I am. But yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't make a proper introduction thingy because my parents are on a cruise and they jacked my digital camera, which is really nice to film with, like, away from the computer. So yeah, can't do that. Can't do that. And just a mini celebration about Obama. Yay! I'm so excited because, I don't know, like, I kept thinking, that'd be so friggin' awesome if he won. But then, like, a little voice in my head kept saying, he's not gonna win, Republicans are gonna rig the voting thing again, and McCain's gonna win. But hey, Obama won. And that is so friggin' amazing, and it was the first election I ever voted in. And I'm just really happy and proud to like have been a part of this and like have it be my first election. And it's so friggin' historical and it's so cool. And Obama's speech, it really, it really touched me. I like cried during it. And then just the coolest part of it was when like the whole crowd like those millions of people just started chanting yes we can in one voice and like caught him off guard he didn't expect it it was so cool like i was like americans you rock tonight seriously so cool it just gives me hope i'm happy but while i'm super proud to be an american right now i'm not proud at all to be a californian like, I know they're still kind of trying to count absentee ballots, ballots and stuff, but I'm pretty sure that Prop 8 has passed, and that is so lame. Like, that is the lamest lame that ever lamed. Oh, It's like, oh, I could rant about this all day, it's just, it's so unfair. Just Prop 8, just saying yes to Prop 8, that's just saying yes to discrimination, and that's the bottom line. Like, seriously, it's saying yes to discrimination, because you're basically telling gay people that they're they're less than you are. And they're not at all. It's like, seriously, Prop 8 passing, you might as well just go back to just having blacks be slaves and women not being able to vote, because that's discrimination. And you're supporting discrimination now. So you might as well support those things too. Because it's not about religion. People can believe whatever they want, but it shouldn't affect state. It just shouldn't if they're supposed to be separate. And that's their base argument for Prop 8, religion, and it shouldn't be. California, I don't understand you. We have San Francisco. We have San Francisco. Slash and rant for now. So, Halloween was a blast. That was, that was a good night. I went over to my friend Carolyn's house and she had like a party shindig thingy. And I went with my friend John who dressed up as a Joker and I dressed up as the Dark Knight Harley Quinn. And I have a, I have a video of her right here. That was pre pre hairstyle. I had like pigtails, kind of on the back like that, not like sticking out or whatever, but like side like that. Yeah, it was pretty nice. I liked it. It was good. It was a good costume. And John and I, we like our costumes completed each other. Like we looked twice as awesome just standing next to each other. It was really cool. Yeah, that was a fun night. We watched we watched Psycho and Shaun of the Dead. We introduced some people to both movies. Both movies, if you haven't seen either one, you should see them, especially Shaun of the Dead. Because that movie is freaking hilarious. I love that movie so much. 
I don't have a picture of John or like me after my hairstyle is done because my parents object for digital camera as I mentioned before. But uh, John got some pictures on his camera, so hopefully I will have those soon. And Lily, I think it was you who asked if we've been to any nerdy events besides this Menlo Park one. And yeah, I've been to um, uh, <laughs> the only anime kind of convention thingy I've been to is anime. <laughs> and that was kind of scary because I'm not that into anime. I've been to a Darren Shan book signing. <laughs> he was the guy who wrote Cirque du Freak books. So that's funny. I know I've been to other nerdy things. They're all escaping my brain right now. Layla, you asked that friend drama question. Um. Yeah, no, I don't have any friend drama really happening right now, at least not like fights or anything. Although my friend Andrew, uh, the other night he did get kicked out of his house. His dad just told him to get out because it wasn't even for like a real reason. His dad was just really stupid. So yeah, Andrew thankfully has his mom's to stay at now, but yeah, John and I had to go over to Andrew's house and help him move out. Really, it's really depressing. But yeah, that's the only kind of drama thing going on. My question for this week is... Are you excited about Obama winning? And are you really bummed out about Prop 8? So I think that's all for this week. And Lily, I'll see you tomorrow.